Hi, this is Dr. Liu. Uh, today I want to introduce you to a new product. So here we go. Uh, these are small. These are really small modules. They actually measure one inch by one inch. So roughly two and a half uh, centimeters across. And uh, the nice thing about these modules is this. You can actually, you can just solder a few pins, um, three pins on each side. And then you uh, you take a development board like this, and um, then you can just take it and just pop it in here. So now you have your your prototype. So this is a um, an SDI twelve uh, UART module. Basically, it's a mini module, so I call it mini, and uh, it it doesn't have the uh, uh, capabilities of extension ports or analog digital inputs so it's only focused on the SDI-12 the digital um, interface for for sensors and um, and there has been quite a few few requests about having a smaller module that is easier to integrate into their um, respective uh, systems for example if you're designing your own circuit board or you're just doing this prototyping this is much easier than something that's a uh, much bigger in size, right? So uh, let's see. Let me pause here. Okay, so I'm back with uh, this regular um, SDI-12 uh, UART module. So this is a full-size module. It is about two inches by two inches or roughly five by five centimeters. So this is a full feature. If you look at it, there's an extension port. You can add on a number of different extension boards such as high uh, resolution analog converter or uh, or 4 milliamp to 20 milliamp uh, current loop or other type of sensors or add more connectors for your SDI 12 sensors and it also comes with uh, with this which can do basic analog uh, and digital inputs and then there's also this external uh, power that you can select over here to power your sensors. So this is pretty much this is a full, uh, just a full size. And this, on the other hand, is just a small module. It has just the core SDI 12 features, and it uh, it's that's what some of you might need. So let's take a quick look at how I'm hooking this up. So this is a uh, an ESP32 development board. I'm just using this. I've been using it for quite a few years, um, and uh, and this side is the um, uh, SDI 12 side. So let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. So over here, this is how I'm connecting it. You can see the the top is five volt. Well, we still need the five volt, and then the SDI 12 uh, bus, and then NC means not connected. So this pin is just here to make things. Symmetric three pins here three pins there, but it's not connected to anything and over here You have uh, the ground on the one side and then TX3 and then RX So the TX is the modules TX so it should be connected to your modules RX And the 3 means that it's 3.3 volt capable and you can also use the same exact pin for 5 volt and then this RX is the receiving for this module, it should be connected to your board's um, uh, transmitting, TX. So here's how I'm connecting it. So let me pop this out. Uh, I have these two um, in, uh, just interesting 0.1 inch jumpers. So uh, if you look at it, you have, this is a uh, row 20, 21 goes from uh, here all the way to the red. This red is actually the 5 volt reel that I connected to my dead board. This pin is my uh, dead board USB power. That's a 5 volt nominal. So then from 21 jump to 5 volt to 22, which is where I'm going to set this thing's 5 volt. And here we also have the 25 going to the blue. The blue is connected to my dead board's ground pin. It's here. So uh, 25 is blue or ground, and then I also jump it to 24. So now 24 is ground, 22 is 5 volt, and this center, the 23, can be the SDI 12. So this is the reason I have these little jumpers to make it really easy. So let me drop this in here. 
and this side has the ground so I need to con connect this uh, this over here now uh, let's see little pencil tip to point so right here the ground is connected to this also to the blue this blue is connected to the ground and these two pins are connected to my um, ESP 32s um, TX and RX1 these are not the TX RX that's marked on most ESP 32 boards those are for programming and um, uh, and console this is just ESP32 has three serial ports. I'm using the second one, which is called serial port one or UR1. Um, okay, so over here, because how I connected this five volt over here, and then I have a little jumper sideways, so that 22 is also five volt, right? I have the, the ground connected to 25, but I have a little jumper sideways to connect 25 to 24, so 24 is ground. Although it's NC, NC can just be ground. So now, these three pins are 5 volt SDI 12 and uh, and ground. So that makes it easy for me to just insert one of these little things. This is a TRS um, adapter. Although this has two rings, well, the uh, if you have a regular TRS connector, then there are these these two connections the sleeve and the, the ring two will actually be shorted together so it doesn't really matter if i just pick up the the sleeve connection from ring two the ring one is the the ring and the tip is the tip so if i plug this in here for a regular sdi 12 sensor especially those made from uh, made with the uh let's see with this connector um Dekigong, the old Dekigon brand and the new brand uh, meters group they have the tip is power, which will be connected to 22, 5 volt. And uh, and then ring here is their SDI 12, which will go to 23, this is SDI. And then the, the sleeve, which is also connected to ring 2 in this TRRS adapter, that go to ground, which is ground jumped over here to the 24 pin. Remember, there's a couple of these jumpers here let's pull this out again these jumpers so that makes both rows 21 and 22 connected to ground both rows 24 and 25 connected uh well connected to ground and these two connected to five volts okay so once again let's pop this one in this is just for the sheer convenience i'll take that and just push that into this connection right here so now I have my connection um, all I have to do is to connect this side to uh, to my computer and can program it either with uh, with um, with Arduino ESP32 um, let's see it has a, an Arduino um, board definition and you can install it you can uh, you can you can basically use Arduino IDE to program ESP32 um, and you can also use MicroPython if you want. So the reason I picked this uh, ESP32 dev board is because uh, it has integrated uh, Wi-Fi. So here's actually it's a Wi-Fi antenna. You can even connect to an external antenna. So that makes it much easier to make this into an IoT uh, data logger or something that you you would rely on uh, logging uh, remotely, not just logging on these. It's uh, it's say it's. SD card as an SD card slot. Okay, so I hope this video helps you understand how this module can help you potentially do your prototyping and also you can drop this onto your board uh, to make your board uh, SDI 12 capable and also how I hooked up this exact prototype which is I think in my opinion it's pretty neat. This is the smallest possible um, breadboard I can find still with the numbers so I can easily point where I uh, made connections. So in a separate video I will show you how I would run some code to do some basic um, extraction of data and then uh, we'll go from there. Thank you.